MTC. EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 1. Discipline and Habit. Honestly, most people never really want to talk about these. And who can blame them? I don't either. The images these words bring up in our heads are of something hard and unpleasant. Just reading the words is exhausting. But there's good news. The right discipline goes a long way, and habits are hard only in the beginning. Over time, the habit you're after becomes easier and easier to sustain. It's true. Habits require much less energy and effort to maintain than to begin. Put up with the discipline long enough to tum it into a habit, and the journey feels different. The hard stuff becomes habit, and habit makes the hard stuff easy. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 2 Despite its importance, people rarely comment on other people's nonverbal behavior, rarely do they ask, why are you standing so far away from me? Or say, thank you for squeezing my hand. Dot. Instead, they respond nonverbally, for example by moving closer or squeezing back. Meeting nonverbal communication with nonverbal communication is the rule of nonverbal reciprocity. This rule holds that feelings are best reciprocated with feelings, because much nonverbal behavior appears automatic, and nonverbal communication is less direct than verbal communication. Thus, when people are feeling vulnerable, it provides a safer way to communicate attraction or rejection, with less risk of being called to account. In various ways, then, nonverbal channels facilitate social attachment and belonging as people understand each other. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 3. Even high-achieving sports superstars like Tiger Woods or Gabby Douglas need coaches. Tiger Woods Gabby Douglas. Every great achiever needs to be pushed to find what he or she is truly capable of, which means achievers need someone to instruct, guide, and push them. Achievers should choose a mentor, whether it is their boss, someone else in the organization or even someone outside work. They need to ensure that there is trust in the relationship, the mentor has sufficient time to invest, and there is good chemistry. Then, week by week, the achiever should ask the coach to help her understand what success looks like, honestly assessing strengths and weaknesses. The pace at which achievers work is often supersonic, so it's important they and their coach get their aim right, and then adjust as needed. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 4 Making small talk allows participants to sprinkle plenty of keywords, free information, self-disclosures, and new topics into their conversation. This provides more opportunities for you and the other person to choose topics of mutual interest. This will extend your conversation because you'll have more things to talk about. Of course, some of the small talk topics you choose may only yield a minute or two of conversation. However, by applying good listening and questioning skills, others will lead you to conversational gold that is, a person's hot button. The information you pick up during small talk can also pay off for you in later conversations. Be sure to give your chat your full attention and remember what the other person tells you so you can refer to it at another time. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 5 It's been my experience that complaining about deadlines even if the complaints are justified takes an enormous amount of mental energy and time. The turmoil you go through simply within your own head is rarely worth it. The added obsessive thinking about the deadline creates its own internal anxiety. I know that deadlines can create quite a bit of stress and that sometimes it doesn't seem fair. However, 
working toward your goal without the interference of negative mental energy makes any job more manageable. See if you can notice how often you tend to worry or complain about deadlines. Then, try to catch yourself in the act of doing so. When you do, gently remind yourself that your energy would be better spent elsewhere. Who knows, perhaps you can ultimately make peace with deadlines altogether. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 6 Parents used to have little responsibility for their children beyond providing food, clothing, shelter, and moral guidance. And they needed to do this for only a short time, because children began to contribute to the support of the family early in life. Among many people, parenthood is still like this. In Colombia, for example, children of the poor often are expected to support themselves by the age of 8 or 10. Colombia 810 In industrial societies, however, we assume that children are vulnerable beings who must depend on their parents for financial and emotional support for many years often until they are well into their 20s. 20. In some cases, this is now being extended into the 30s. 30. The greater responsibilities that we assign to parenthood place heavier burdens on today's couples and, with them, more strain on marriage. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 7 In the past few years, the brain and behavioral sciences, and even medical research, have begun paying considerable attention to purpose and related concepts such as intentional goal and ultimate concerns, and the roles they play in well-being. Study after study has found a person's sense of life purpose to be closely connected to virtually all dimensions of well-being. Recent studies in neuroscience, for example, have found that certain areas of the brain that govern social and moral judgments show a strong response when people observe or engage in intentional activities. Studies of aging have shown that one of the prime predictors of health and well-being in old age is whether a person continues to be purposeful. Researchers studying people with mental health problems and disabilities have found that helping them find a sense of purpose can assist them in overcoming their psychological deficits. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC EBS Reading Power, 2020 Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 8 We all do it. We have that little voice in our heads that only knows how to say negative things. It's our inner critic. However, you have control over that voice. You want to learn to stop the unproductive negative self-talk and instead, focus on what you can do to move past the situation. Focus on how you can solve problems, make a better choice next time or take any other kind of action that will help you focus on the positive rather than the negative. You can even create a stop sign and post it on your wall so that every time you have a negative thought you can look up at it and say to yourself, Stop. Stop. Then convert that negative thought into something positive. For example, I'm so stupid. Becomes okay, I made a mistake. Next time I'll know not to do the same. Dot. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 9 If we want to be wealthy, but we believe that the opportunity to be wealthy does not exist for us, then we will abandon our dreams of wealth. We will not seek wealth. Instead, we will hold on to the belief that opportunity is scarce because this is the concept that appears true to us. If we dream of writing a book, but believe we are not capable, then we will not take the steps necessary to write the book. We will abandon our dream, rather than abandon the thoughts that discourage us. However, Einstein said to do the opposite. Einstein. He said that we must abandon what we hold true. For example, we should disregard what appears to be a fact of our condition, such as I do not have the skills to write a book, 
and instead focus on our ability to write the book. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 10 A lot of parents don't know how to decide how warmly to dress their children for going outside. A good rule is for you to dress the young child in the same number of items you would wear for the day with perhaps one extra coat, sweater, or blanket in cold weather. This is to allow for the fact that the very young child will be less active than you are. As children get older and more active they begin to want to have some say about what they should wear. Often they can predict what they need to wear better than you can. No child chooses to freeze to death. In general, parents tend to dress children at a level that seems comfortable for them, the parents, rather than for the children. Active children who spend a good deal of their outdoor time running, jumping, and climbing need less clothing than the slower moving adult. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 11 Standing up for something that is important to you in the face of all of the challenges and temptations that we face in life takes a great deal of courage. You may have to negotiate with your spouse or other loved ones to pursue your goal, such as if you decide you want to go back to school at night. Or, you might have to change your behavior that others have come to expect from you. For example, maybe you've always been the life of the party and now you have decided to focus on eating right, limiting alcohol, and getting a full night's sleep every night, so your friends start wondering who you are. There's no guarantee that self-discipline will be easy. But if you are committed to something important to you, you'll need to find the courage to say no to things that attempt to dissuade you from your course. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC EBS Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 7 Human Life Exercise 12 Each of us views reality through our own lens. While we may share certain beliefs, you will never have the same perspective as another because your mixture of thoughts is unique to you. Consider as an example both you and a friend observing a painted wall. Your assessment of that wall, such as how brilliantly the sun reflects off it or if the sun casts any shadows, will depend on the position from which you view the wall. Additionally, your viewpoint will determine whether you will see a smudge in the paint, a fingerprint, or brush stroke. Since you and your friend cannot occupy the same position at the same time from which you view the wall, you cannot share the same view of the wall ever. The way in which you view reality is much the same, except your position is not a physical position. Your position is a mental position and each person's view is unique. MTC Good job!